What up internet, Kurt here, geeking out on the mid-season finale of Breaking Bad. Initially, my reaction was this. <laughs> and then, it was this. And it's all because of Gail's book. When Hank first opened that thing up, which <laughs> he's sitting on the pot, which is awesome. Like, of course, throughout the series of the show, we're waiting for Hank to discover Walt. You got me. And where does he do it? But anyway, when he first opened that up and I saw that it was from GB, Gail Bedecker, I was like, oh, it must have been a gift that he got him. And I just forgot it happened. And at that point, I was like, oh my God, this is the most amazing mid-season finale ever. But then I did some digging to find that moment and it doesn't exist. And we've seen this book a few times this season. We do know that Gail has a thing for Walt Whitman. We saw his lab notes last season. My star, my perfect silence. <laughs> In that one episode. Who is it? I don't know, this is such a big moment in the show of Hank discovering this. That's the only reason why I've got my Larry David face on. But then also, why would Hank use the bathroom in the master bedroom? He was going number two, so maybe he just wanted to be out of earshot. But I feel like Hank wouldn't care. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know about this book. Rush the episode though, amazing. Landry pops in just long enough to weird us out again. First it was him and the stupid tarantula, and then now he's like fascinated with the junkyard. It's pretty cool when they do that. They just turn a car to a cube. <sighs> Such a bummer seeing Mike in the back of that car. I don't want to talk about this. The montages were great. Uh, the one of them killing everybody at the prison. It's done. Which they said on the podcast was inspired by The Godfather when they were killing all the heads of the families. And then the second montage with all the magic cuts, that one was inspired by The Graduate, which was pretty sweet. And another thing I learned from the podcast. Although it's about time they use Crystal Blue Persuasion. Like I hear that song. Crystal Blue Persuasion. It's like perfect for this show. There were all sorts of callbacks in this episode. It opens on the fly. Uh, Walt is staring at his fist imprint from the last time he was at the doctor. Uh, when he's on the table getting x-rays or whatever, that's from like the pilot. And then one callback that I learned from the podcast, of course, uh, is the line to Lydia where he says, Learn to take yes for an answer. Is exactly what Mike said to Walt. Learn to take yes for an answer. Right before Mike. <laughs> that was good. Mike. Anyway, when I saw them sitting at the table and they're just gabbing about nothing, I second that. I was like, now it's gonna be exactly what Sopranos did for their mid-season finale. They ended on that Christmas dinner and I was like, what? This is what you're gonna leave us with? But then luckily the bathroom thing happened, which I'm happy about now. Don't worry. I don't know. Does it matter that we didn't see Gail give him that book? You know what? I'm over it. No more Larry David face. Be happy. Loved it. 10 out of 10. Season, 10 out of 10. And I cannot wait until next year. Are you gonna hug all the ice?